Hey guys, Tom by 601 and today we are in the Adriatico, the tier 8 Italian uh, tech tree destroyer that came out last update. If you're unaware, it's a Tashkant that uh, got gifted to the Italians and uh, got some a couple of changes to it. Mainly, engine boost is that Italian crazy engine boost. Uh, you get the crawling smoke or the exhaust smoke generator and you get SAP. So all in all, pretty fun. As far as our commander goes, bit different. Uh, I was using Rizzo pretty much up and down the line. Uh, Adriatico though, we are running Burga Bergami. Bergomi, you may know him. Uh, you had to complete the the advent, not the advent calendar, is the calendar thing, the calendar event in order to get him. Um, I think you can do equally well with Rizzo. The Adriatico is not the greatest ship of all it is there's definitely a bit of a it is there's a learning curve to it and it uh definitely falls in line with the rest of the italian destroyers where you kind of need to get lucky you kind of very much need to know what's going on um and you need to kind of be prepared anyways we have uh trying to get into a right here we're gonna go ahead and dump the uh torpedoes right here we see a gear is coming around the corner and we just want you get around Kitakaze goes ahead and spots us but we drop out of uh his spotting rage uh concealment on these boats hasn't been great even with Bergami with a pretty concealment minded build our our concealment is still only six seconds we pick up three torpedoes on eight uh three torpedo hits on a gear right there uh and that is one of the other downsides to uh, this boat is the torpedo uh, alpha strike. Not exactly the best. So what are you dealing with as far as torpedoes go as we capture A here? Uh, you got two sets of four uh, 533 millimeter launchers. They're going to reload with this build in 90 seconds, which is pretty decent. I kind of wish it was a bit quicker, though, because uh, the damage per, per torpedo, not that great. 12,667 when you get them upgraded. They're going to have a range of 12 kilometers, which is nice. And then with this current build, uh, torp speed on them is going to be about 60 knots, which is, I'm going to say, respectable. It's it's respectable. Personally, I think I would happily trade um, a bit of that range for a bit of damage. But there's always sort of a, a triangle of balance that Wargaming employs in order to keep torpedoes not too OP um, between the damage of the range and the speed and well this one is kind of just I'm gonna call it middle of the road everywhere so they're not the most fantastic we are gonna start uh, farming out this Vanguard right here uh, main battery we it's three two barreled 135s so the 135s are shared with the Tash can't range on them 11.1 kilometers which isn't that far it's it, it does kind of suffer right there uh, the the HE, uh, I didn't really use in this match, but uh, HE, I'm going to say, is fairly respectable. The I was, has about a 9% chance to set fire. Um, I think the HE is a pretty good uh, secondary selection, if you will. Reload time on the guns, 5.1 seconds, giving you 70 rounds per minute. You will notice we do have a legendary mod on the vessel. Uh, this was kind of my compromise because Adriatico is kind of built almost to be a torp boat, but not really. So it, I felt it needed a little bit more oomph from the guns. And I thought a good way to do that, uh, we'll go ahead, use the new mod system. If we can use the new mods, it'll, it, we can at least, you know, boost our damage or boost our, boost our uh, reload speed as we progress into the round that pairs nicely with Bergami because he does have the ability that boosts damage as you take more damage. So, you know, kind of trying to mix it up uh, with this sort of build right here. And, you know, we're, we're getting decent results. You can see we've done a pretty decent job so far. Uh, we end up taking out that Kitakaze who was sitting on the island trying to get B. Um, it brings, brings us up to 50,000 damage. Uh, and we've kind of cleared out the center thing. Um, enemy team very much clustered in the center area. There's a bit of a weird kind of spread that I haven't really seen from an enemy team <laughs> in a while. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use this this moment, uh, try to disengage with the Z, and as we duck behind this island, and then head into B, see if we can get the cap. Um, we are just one destroyer up, 
on the enemy team. Though I think as far as positioning goes, we definitely, uh, I think, have a better position overall as we go ahead and dump our second set of torps. Kansas coming around the corner right there. Was not expecting that. So we are going to try to turn out. Um, Z is a sneeze away from death. Uh, we're going to turn out and see if we can uh, kind of out outweigh uh, this Kansas. He does have a very strong broadside, but I, I, I want to be able to get some rounds in him. SAP should perform very well against his relatively light armor as we pick up another uh, torp hit right there on, I forget which boat uh, ended up eating that, but he's going to go ahead and uh, stop, stop the damage, sadly. Uh, torpedoes are looking decent on the Kansas. Uh, one fun little trick you can do with Bergami is his final slot does uh, does have a skill that boosts torpedo damage when you're in smoke. So if you think you're going to get a hit, you can go ahead and pop the smoke and like try to boost that damage by a tad. Um, like I said, the the damage that that you get on on the uh, the torpedoes isn't the biggest, so that that little buff can absolutely help. Uh, you can kind of see the way we're playing Adriatico. It is it is not a hunter of ships. No, it is it is it is. Um, I I would say it's a torpedo boat with a bit more strength. Except the torpedoes aren't that great. Like I don't know. I feel I feel like it just needs a bit more love than what it has. As we run out of map right here into this island, um, it it doesn't have. It is it is a difficult ship to play. It doesn't have everything you'd want it to be. The SAP can absolutely slap uh, if you get those shells to land uh, where they can do full pens. Oh boy, does it does it do well as we uh, take surprisingly not as much damage as, as I was fearing. Um, Fletcher decides this is his moment to begin to uh, engage and he takes, I'm gonna say, a bit more damage than we ended up taking uh, in our exchange from taking a salvo from a battleship. Um, and we'll see if we can finish him off shells just missing there um and that's going to kind of wrap up the game for us like i said adriatico it's it's an interesting ship but not i i don't think you need to rush out there and uh and and really get into it um but good look at what's at the top of that line and what's waiting for you anyways guys if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i hope you have a great rest of your day see ya